Hi, it's Joe from Red's Fly Shop, and it's time to freshen up my gear bag. This is the Fish Pond Cut Bank gear bag. This is the new one uh, that I'm moving into, and I get to sort it all out in Playhouse. And then this one, this one's got some war wounds here. So this one is probably close to 10 years old, and it's absolutely trashed. Still works, and I've been so happy with it, I'm just getting a fresh one right here. But just to show you how much time I've got on this, um, after 10 years of being in the sun guiding and fishing, some of your straps are gonna break. Uh, my shoulder strap here uh, used to hook up here, and now it doesn't. I don't even have the original carabiners. I've had to use an old wading belt to make my shoulder strap. So now I guess I got a, an extra wading belt now and a couple of carabiners. But it's been well used and well loved and I've liked it so much that I've just continued using it even though I beat it up pretty good. Now before I show you the features, the new one, uh, which is slightly different uh, than the older model and a few upgrades that I really like and one thing that I wish they'd included, uh, which I'll mention, uh, is just how I organize my trout gear. Uh, I'm a 20 plus year veteran of guiding and I think over time I carry less stuff uh, than I used to. And here's how I have my flies and things organized. I, uh, I have all my boxes that are seasonal right here and I tend to like these smaller boxes so that I can slide these out and I've got them labeled um, with a label maker so I can just reach in and don't make a mess of things. Here, I'll just let you get that in focus. And these are the tacky boxes, the tacky OG boxes. But I like those because I can take them out and I can put them in my waiting kit really easily. And then those boxes will change a little bit seasonally. No matter whether you're a boat owner, um, a guide, just a wade fisherman, I think it's important for all of your gear to have one home base so that your reels and your spare spools and your sink tips, even extra fly lines that are in the box can live in a bag like this and you protect your investment by being organized. If your garage looks anything like mine, that's where things go to get lost and die. So having a good bag is important. In the middle here is just kind of my, my tippet and my small items. My lanyard uh, comes in and out of there. So when I'm done at the end of the day, I can just drop my lanyard in the center and my tippet, uh, depending on what I'm doing, if I'm going wade fishing and I need a couple sizes, I can just break them off and that might go into my wading uh, bag. And then things like little fly pucks, these are those fish pond fly pucks. Just my things that are day, day use of, that I might not get my flies out and put them all back in my boxes. I just drop those in the center. And then other small quick access items. I try not to bury too many things deep inside pockets, but I'll have some floating, or some cider materials like that, uh, or uh, miscellaneous indicators will live in there, and that's just kind of my center area. And I try to leave space because I like to have my extra reels. I'm a big fan of breaking my rods down at the beginning and end of each fishing day, and so I keep my reels that I'm constantly using uh, in this bag. It, you probably don't own as much gear as I do. Nobody should. Uh, so chances are all of your reels will probably fit in here. Uh, for the average angler, but it helps to stay very organized. And then I've got this bag on top, and this is kind of where my extra stuff goes. Might have a little first aid kit in here. I've got any uh, licenses that are for floating, uh, split shot and nail knot tools, tapered leaders, and things I don't need to get to quickly while I'm fishing. Now inside, I promised myself I would share a couple of things that I think are really important uh, to me to have in my kit bag as I look through here. And there are a couple of things that jump out at me. One is an indicator comb. If you're gonna be using yarn indicators, I can't tell you how important that is. And yarn indicators, uh, I build a lot of my own, kind of New Zealand style. Not everybody needs to do that, but uh, if you have yarn indicators, phone, phone's ringing off the hook in here. Uh, if you have yarn indicators like these loon tip toppers, the comb does wonders for that. It floats like a feather. It casts amazing because the weight is at the end of the line rather than having multiple weights like your thingamabob or your airlock and then a, a big fly and a small fly. With yarn, all the weights at the end, the accuracy and casting efficiency you get is immense. The other thing I told myself I would share is tippet rings. If you haven't started to get into using tippet rings, absolutely get a few packages of tippet rings in both the small 
and the large size, and I think that makes rigging for multiple fly setups or indicator setups or tight line nymphing just a breeze. So those are a few of the things that when I move over, I'll smile that I've got those. So the old bag, I'm incredibly still waterproof. Let's take a look at the bottom here, Eric. And this is one thing that I am in awe of is even after 10 years and some of the other failures that have happened on the bag, the waterproofness of this bag is still intact. So when this thing's sitting in the bottom of the boat or wet, it does not take in any water from the bottom, which is really incredible. So that size of bag is appropriate for me. Now let's look at the new bag and a couple of things when it's empty that you can see that I really like about it. One is, let's look right inside here, let me tip it up, is the fact that I can remove these pockets is pretty cool. Yep. So theoretically, if I had tools or things that needed to go into my wade fishing pack, I could just tear this out and put it right in my wade fishing bag, just like that right there. And I can put that back in. And the same goes for my top pack. If I wanted to grab this and move it to my backpack or a sling pack or something like that, I could just take that whole unit right there. And that works uh, pretty good, just Velcros right in. One thing I wish is, is I would prefer if I had the option of another pocket over here on the other side. The older model had smaller pockets and they had one on each side, um, but I'll make that adjustment. Uh, so another feature of this is these dividers can be moved and tailor, you can tailor fit your fly boxes. So you saw in my old one, my fly boxes really neatly fit nice and tight so they didn't twist, turn, flip upside down. I'll adjust these dividers uh, to get to just the right size one. Another tip for this is if you are gonna be in a boat, I think even just setting it on the ground, the way I run my shoulder strap as I run it, and I had to shorten this uh, to get it just right, but I run my shoulder strap really short so that I can run it back like that and it doesn't hang down on the ground, mud or water. So this stays up here like this. Then when I go to grab my bag, I can just roll that shoulder strap up like this and I can carry it. If I wanna throw it over my shoulder, I just lengthen it out. But what I found is when it's lengthened out for like shoulder carrying, this flops over and gets down in the kind of the, the dirt and the mud and the, the water. So probably need to make it just a hair longer. I will attach a few things on the front. Uh, things like uh, my Leatherman. I used this a couple times this last year. Uh, to bail myself out, uh, fixing oars and fixing parts uh, on my boat and even a fly reel. So I think a Leatherman's kind of handy. And I just keep that right on the outside so that I can remember that I have it because I only use it a couple of times a year, it seems like, but that always has to go with me. Uh, there would be lots to unpack here if we went through everything that I carry uh, in my kit bag, but I think you need to get one for yourself and kind of make it your own. And uh, my choice, again, even after Having this one for a long time, I did get a little itchy thinking I wanted to try something else. But when it really came down to it, I wanted the fish pond. Uh, I really like it. And uh, in addition, there is a patch for flies on the top. I try not to get in the habit of, of letting flies stay there too long because that's where flies go to die. But that's my review of the fish pond cut bank gear bag.